All right. Um, I had a couple moments of weakness on eBay. <laughs> I bought a couple things. Um, here's one of the things that I bought. Um, it's an 8085 single board computer. So kind of keeping along the theme, theme that we're, I've been doing lately. Um, I do like the 8085. It was one of my favorite processors back in the day. And this is a nice little board. It's out of a piece of test equipment, uh, Exatron. And it's automatic test equipment. So this is kind of a... Um, um, an IC level, board level uh, tester. And so this was the brains in it. It had some type of uh, bus. And so this card could talk to other cards and um, handle um, the automation equipment for loading of PC boards and testing of PC boards and things like that. So let's take a look at the board. Um, should be pretty familiar. Uh, we have an 8085 processor. Uh, we have a uh, oscillator to supply, uh, we have two oscillators. So we have a crystal and we have an oscillator, so that's interesting. So the uh, crystal is for the 8085 and the oscillator is for this chip over here. We'll talk about that later. So we're running at 6.144 megahertz. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, we have some ROM and RAM. We have a ROM here. It's a... Um, uh, 27C256, so 32K of, of ROM, and we have a, a battery backed up RAM uh, over here. I believe this is 128 kilobytes of uh, RAM, uh, and so that, that's nice to be interesting to see if the uh, battery is still surviving over here. Um, if not, I can just uh, desolder this chip and put in a, put in a, a normal chip. Um, that doesn't have the battery on it. And then uh, we have some support support ICs over here. Uh, let's see, there's probably, yep, uh, there's a 373, so this is probably the address demultiplexing. They're usually put in, in line when you're doing the PC board layout. It sort of makes sense to have all of these in line because all of the data buses kind of are on the same, same section. Um, so that's the address demultiplexing. We have a couple LS244s, so these are probably uh, ports, um, buffers for the ports. There's one, two, three of those. Um, there's an LS14, which is a Schmidt trigger, probably the, for the reset circuit. Uh, that's very typical for these parts, have a reset circuit. And then uh, over here we have a uh, 16550, which is a serial um, UART. Um, and so it has its own clock. Uh, 1.8432 megahertz. That sounds familiar. I think we've seen that before. And then some type of PAL. I don't know if it's a 22V10. Um, I'd have to rip off the little tag there to read it. Uh, but it probably does divisions. Uh, so it sets the uh, baud rate uh, clock for this chip. And then over here we have a MAX323 chip. So that's very familiar uh, to create uh, uh, serial level data or RS-232 level data. Uh, probably on this uh, port uh, uh, connector right here. Uh, we have a another 244 buffer, and we have a 374 um, D octal flip flop latch. Um, so there's there's probably a port here, an 8 bit port on this connector um, that this particular thing runs with. Um, so, uh, can we repurpose this card? Yes, well, of course we could. We could write our own programs, we could have it do things as a serial port, there's enough ROM and RAM that we could probably do uh, what this board does. Um, obviously it has a different type of serial, so we would have to rewrite the serial commands. Um, but it basically has a, uh, a ROM, RAM, and a 8255, and a UART, right? So same stuff and a PAL. I mean, it's, it's almost the same board. Um, and um, so, yeah, we could take a look at that. Now, how do we know where the ports uh, lie and stuff like that? You know, where where is the serial port? Where, where What's the addressing scheme and things like this? Well, we may be able to take a look at this program uh, that's in here and uh, see if we can't uh, examine that program and try to do some type of uh, address decoding and try to figure out where, where things lie. So we might, we might try that. Okay, um, this is another moment of weakness on eBay. 
Um, the picture on eBay <laughs> made it look like I was going to get a PC board about this big, um, and it was, it's a, it's a big huge, it's a big, a giant, giant PC board. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't measure it here. Um, our board is uh, 11 and a quarter by, oh, I don't know, uh, I can't I'll read from that side, uh, by 11. So 11 by 11 and a quarter. It's just a giant board. Um, I can only imagine what this board would have cost back in 1980. It would have been hundreds of dollars just for the PC board. Um, but uh, this is a new board. It's a fairly modern board. Um, it's being sold on eBay by some guy. He developed this board for a customer and then he either built too many of them or the customer didn't want it or this revision didn't work or I don't know what, what the story was, but he had a whole bunch of these left over. Um, so these are in the state of the parts have been put on the board and the pins bent so they don't fall out, although some are about to fall out. You can hear, hear it rattle around. Um, and then this was going to go into wave solder. Once all the parts were put on, it would have gone through wave solder. So somewhere along the line, this, this project was halted and said, nope, we're not going any farther. Stop production. And these were kind of sitting around. So uh, he was selling these on eBay for 10 bucks. So just the, just the chips are worth 10 bucks, right? So if, if all I do is pull the chips out, um, I'm ahead of the game. Um, but there's also some fun things. There's a whole bunch of diodes. Uh, these these heavy heavy duty diodes. These look like maybe four amp diodes or something like that. Um, they're, they're pretty nice. Two two to two to four amps. Um, there was going to be some other nice parts, but he didn't load those in yet. There's a bunch of uh, relays here. Um, there's a power supply here. And some big TO3 regulators for the power supply. Uh, so there are some things missing, but there are some uh, good things also. So. Let's see if we can't find the good things here. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. So this is a good complement here. There's a, a Z84006. Uh, there's a Z84006. Um, so this is a PIO. And there's a, a DART, uh, which is a UART. Um, there's the 84, the CPU, and the uh, clock chip, uh, controller ch uh, timer, um, the CTC, and another PIO. So there's two P PIOs. And then uh, on this side, uh, we have some RAM. We have a 62256, that's a 32K RAM. We've got two chips of those, that's, so that's real handy. Uh, that's probably worth just buying the board all by itself. Um, then there's some strange odds and ends, um, which I don't think are worth mentioning. But anyway, if you're if you see this on eBay, be aware that it's a very very large board. 